So they were uh, taking Papa Dick to his radiation. So we put the chair on Nolan's lift and uh, we're picking him up. <laughs> yeah, you ready to go? <laughs> Bag and water, anything else? Okay. <laughs> we need to get you one of those electronic ones. Okay. You just press a button. Okay, Mr. I Spy. <laughs> what? Come on, see. <laughs> no, there's not. Fuck, there ain't. Fuck this. <laughs> Please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle. No arm rest in this prick. <laughs> You'll have the door come down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spaceship. That's right. <laughs> oh. You got me jammed up against here. Okay, door's coming down. You ready? What? <laughs> the door's coming down. What'd you think? That's fucking tits. I can pull it out. I'm pulling nothing out. <laughs> I can move the thing closer. Well, that would be a good fucking idea. <laughs> All right. Where are you going? <laughs> right here. I could have walked up there, you dumbass. <laughs> All right, you ready? Don't go flopping out of this thing, okay? You said you were going to let me down. I am, I am. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you need to fuck? Is anybody watching me? I hope. <laughs> you fucking dick. Don't touch me. Fuck <laughs> <Up> spaceship. <laughs> It is talk activated. Really? Yeah. Fuck me right. <laughs> Can we go? It's it. fucking hot. I gotta shut the car off. You need a tan anyways. <laughs> what I listen to? Billy Ray Cyrus. Did you? Do you? I listen to Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah. yeah. I want my vault back. You know why? Why? Because you're queer. <laughs> really? Well, he's the original mullet man. Yeah, I know. What about, why does that make me queer? Because you listen to him. Okay. Are you comfortable? No, I need an armrest right here. Well, Nolan doesn't need an armrest. That's why it's not over there. Nolan sits right here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why the ramp drops down and door flips up. We don't put them in the trunk usually. I didn't know if he sat in the back seats or what. You smart ass. Are you hungry? What do you want? I don't know. I can make it home. We're, we're at, what, what's there to eat your house? I don't know. You know, lady, you got a mirror? <laughs> that fucking super large fucking soda you're drinking. Here. No, she obviously don't. <laughs> she wouldn't go outside like that. She'd stay home and be fucking fat. You're rocking the pajama pants and do rag right now. I'm rocking the fucking pajama pants <laughs> because I can't take wear my bibs. Oh yeah. Because then I gotta take them off. For radiation? No, the buckles <laughs> on them, you dumb fuck. <laughs> what is the matter with you? What is the story on the do-rag? What do you mean? <laughs> Julie who left town. Yeah. That's the fucking story. And she does my hair. So you're rocking the do-rag. So I just went in the bathroom. Fucking wet down my hair. Water dripping all over the fucking sink. <laughs> and I brushed it back and put this fucking do-rag on. Like America! <laughs> America! <laughs> what are you yelling at? America! What? Red Lobster? The hat represents oh. America. <laughs> oh, America. Have you ever had barbacoa? No, I'd like to. I've seen it on some of my shows. Yeah, we have some at the house. My mom made it for dinner last night. Wow. 
<laughs> What'd you have for dinner? Julie made this fucking casserole. What was it? You take these crescent rolls. That reminds me of a story too. I went to a traffic accident one time, right? And this lady's in the car and she's holding the back of her head. I said, ma'am, does your head hurt? She goes, I'm trying to hold my brains in. Oh, I said, what? <laughs> and she goes, I'm trying to hold my brains in. Well, when she crashed, her groceries came flying <laughs> forward. And no way. Yeah, and the fucking crescent roll busted open and got all over the back of her head, and she thought it was her brain. No I said, way. well, you know, I, it could have been because you're pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> Did you actually say that? No, I said it in my mind. But anyhow, you take the crescent rolls and you lay them out in a baking dish, and then you brown up pound of sausage. <laughs> sausage? Sausage. And then you buy a jar of marinara, and then you coat the bottom with marinara. Is that how you actually say it? Yeah. How do you say it? Man, man. That's because you're a fucking American. <laughs> no, I'm Italian. No, you ain't. Yeah, I'm Irish Italian. Well, the Italian dripped down the fucking leg because <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You don't even know how to say shit. That's merch right there. You don't even know how to say shit. <laughs> so then Papa you Dick put merch. that ground sausage on top. But wait, first is a, a layer of mozzarella. Shredded, <laughs> mozzarella? Shredded mozzarella. See, you don't know how to say nothing. You fucking Americans piss me off. <laughs> Anyhow, how long have you lived in America for? What am I being? Interrogated? <laughs> You're American, aren't you? My mother was Italian. Full Italian. So, you know, you pick up on two things. I see. But anyhow, you put down the mozzarella, and then you, you put down some more hamburger, or some more uh, sauce, and then thing of... Uh, I had it backwards. Why don't we just do a cooking show? The first, first layer, you asked me to tell a story. So <laughs> what, you, what you need to do right now is shut the fuck up. First, I know, I want you to finish the story, I just, it would be funny if we did a cooking show. First layer of cheese is not mozzarella, it was ricotta. What's that? It's, What's the American way of saying that? I suppose you fucking say <laughs> ricotta. <laughs> ricotta. <laughs> okay. You put more sauce and then you put the mozzarella on top. And then you bake it for I don't fucking know how long until it's done delicious. Delicious. I ate a half a fucking pan. <laughs> I, should, I shit you not. I couldn't stop eating. And I don't have an appetite. We're gonna need more pans because if you can take one out, I can take one out. If we're trying to feed the whole family, we got five more puppies that need to eat. <laughs> Oh well, see, God. that's the thing about Italian family. <laughs> yeah. You always think you're not going to have enough. <laughs> that's so I true. always think that when I'm cooking for people, yeah. I'm not going to have enough. And Julia will say, you got enough. I'm not going to have enough. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, especially when Italians get dementia, because great-grandma had dementia, and I'd go over to her house in Chicago, and she'd be like, hey, did, did you get enough to eat? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I got plenty, Grandma. I'm stuck. All right. Well, did you get enough to eat? <laughs> <laughs> You're making fun of the woman with dementia. <laughs> well, I can because I'm going to get it someday. You just got to laugh at it There's now. no guarantee you're going to get it. Oh, the amount of concussions I've had and ge genetics get it, at least. Well, you're just thinking fucking positive, ain't you? <laughs> I'm thinking positively right now because I'll, I'll probably have some funny moments with Where's my Where's the grandkids. closest bathroom in your house? It's on the first floor, on the main level. Is it a long walk? Not really. Because once I get up the steps, I'm going to need to take a breather. I'll need to take a breather, too. <laughs> Is the bathroom clean? Have you had, yeah, bathroom's clean. Have I had what? Have you had Casey's uh, breakfast burritos? I believe I have. They're insanely good. I don't know which one I like better, Casey's or Beck's. I'm a Casey's guy. They're, they beat them in everything but chicken. Everything else. Casey's don't have chicken, do they? 
they do. They have like strips and popcorn chicken and stuff See, like that. Back in the day when I was driving truck with George, Casey started out there in Iowa. They had fried chicken. And it was the best fucking fried chicken. It was unbelievable. Casey's? Yeah. Really? They had big deep fryers back there and everything. Well, <laughs> now that Bex has a billboard claiming that they're the best chicken on 80. Have you seen that? No. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up. It's not even deep fried, is it? It's deep fried, I'm pretty sure, but if you got rips on 80. How are you going to complain? And that's just 20 mile radius. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that was legal. You could do that. But. What? Claim that you have the best chicken on 80. You claim whatever you want. Oh, so maybe it's like health related. You can't claim that it's. How fast you going? 68? 70? Give him the finger. <laughs> 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 you know they can't do nothing about that, right? I've seen videos of them not giving a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the bad cop videos. Yeah. The one guy had someone pulled over and a kid flipped the cop off while the cop came and pulled them over. He goes, I would be with them right now, but you want to be a little <laughs> Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. He, he was out of bounds, that cop was. I think he was disciplined for it. Yeah. Did you have any moments like that? I know you, on the first podcast, you told that story about grab, grabbing that guy by the face. Give me one more motherfucker. Give me one more motherfucker. Oh, uh, what do you mean did I have like that? Did you have any moments like that where people just pissed you off when you had a... <laughs> well, that guy did, but you usually... didn't. You weren't out of line, though. No, I didn't take him out on a gravel road and beat their ass or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Which cops in back, in back in my day did that. <laughs> now they got the camera strapped to them. Now, now you got cameras. And... Not only that, everybody else has a camera, too. <laughs> well, the cops all have body cams now. Mysteriously, they get shut off somehow. <laughs> Maybe the wind picked up a little bit. Yeah. Held it down for three seconds. <laughs> I would like to be on a show where you critique bad cops. Bad cops are usually the result of bad leadership. Yeah. That's just as simple as it is. And the rest of them, that it's not bad leadership, they're just bad people. And they should have never got a gun or a badge. Yeah, snuck through. Do you have water in your house? Yeah, well, I could, because you said you wanted to go to your house first to go to the garage and look at those signs. Yeah. You still want to do that? Yeah. Okay. And we gotta go to Gus's. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have the attention span of a fucking amoeba. <laughs> amoeba? You don't even know what a fucking amoeba is? No, I know what an amoeba is. I'm just trying to use that to... What did they just say in high school to you? Hey, we're just gonna let you do it. <laughs> on account of you flipping them girls upside down. <laughs> no, in college I got decent grades. I'd have bad grades throughout the semester, and at the end I'd, I'd uh, pick it up a little bit. I just wanted enough to pass when I was in school. Not in high school, I don't care if I passed or not, quite frankly. I was a bad student in, in high school. <laughs> but I was concussed through most of it, too. I got kicked out of school for kicking the principal in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's a podcast story. We have to wait for the podcast All to right. get set up to, for you to tell that story. Right in the balls. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the guy's dead now. He's just a hard ass. You were going to wear your fedora today. I don't own a fedora. Oh, what hat were you going to wear today? What the fuck is a fedora? <laughs> you don't know what a fedora is? No. What hat were you going to wear? My Amish hat. Your Amish hat? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny you said that because you know how I was going to come today? What? I was, I'm not joking. If I had enough time to prepare, I would have had a black suit, an earpiece, the black blacked out shades, how <laughs> to act like your full-time security. And every time this wing door flipped up, I would just would have stood stood there. I don't know if I could have kept a straight face though. That's the problem. But I was gonna dress like I was your your personal security. <laughs> and then you <laughs> you wheel out in your fedora. <laughs> I don't know what a fedora is. Oh, your Amish hat. That's not a fedora. How do you know you don't know what a fedora is? I, I know what a fedora too. is, but I can't. I wouldn't get caught dead in a fucking fedora. <laughs> what the f***? 
<laughs> Fedora. You know, like, those are pretty badass. No. I'm trying to think of what a fedora is, to be honest with you. I can see it in my mind. What are the mafia hats? Were those fedoras? Yeah, you're right. The little. Yeah, my dad would wear them to church every Sunday. A black fedora. Is he a high roller? No, he was, we were poor white trash. Oh. <laughs> but he was proper. Proper white trash. That's how we are. Proper Catholic. Every week he would. He didn't wear a suit. We wear nice shirt, pants, and his fedora. I used to pass out in church. <laughs> no, really. All the time. Dad falls asleep in church in the front row. I didn't fall asleep, dude. I passed out. <laughs> you legitimately passed out? Literally. <laughs> and fall down. And cut my head to one time. Was God speaking to you? <laughs> well, I don't know if it was God or Satan, but <laughs> it was hotter than in that church <laughs> and so I can remember dad carrying me out but before he <laughs> carried me out he had to grab that fedora and put it on <laughs> and mass is still going on but he wasn't going outside without that fedora oh yeah dripper drown you know that one dripper drown uh -huh. I went to church with grandma in Arlington Catholic Church that's where I went my whole life. Yeah. That's where I passed out. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> it's funny because they they get on the, the knee board thing. Yeah. So you're, on, you're on your knees and they do this and everyone holds their hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'd never seen that before. So I, get, I gave grandma a high five. <laughs> she goes, grab my hand, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That's all in that new wave Catholic thing. That touchy-feely. Especially with the priest, the touchy-feely stuff, I don't know. No, I'm not talking about <laughs> that right now. <laughs> I'm just joking. Does that happen, though? What? The touchy-feely stuff. I'm sure it happens in every... You ever read a newspaper? Did not be, yeah. <laughs> it fucking happens all the time. <laughs> Are you going to get out? <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'll reach you up. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm nuts.